Hello fellow junk lovers, stuff collectors, and kids at heart. My name's Charlie, and I'm the Offbeat Collector, and I love stuff. So today, I'm going to show you all the cats that I have in my Beanie Baby collection. But it's not actually all the cats, because there's several holiday cats for Valentine's Day, or there's some for Halloween, and I'll show those when I do my holiday collections. So first, I'm just going to start with regular old normal cats. Uh, starting with this Squishaboo. Um, I, I'm not a huge fan of the Squishaboos. This one's name is Kiki. Um, I do like Squishmallows, so the Squishaboos do feel a bit like a copycat toy to me, but I do have a few because I just can't resist. I do. I love all plush and especially all things that Ty creates. And probably one of the prized pieces of my collection to me is this super large glamour uh, just a giant beanie boo it's absolutely adorable uh, I just I don't have a lot of this giant size one so this one's extra special to me so let's get into the rest of them okay well when I was a kid I always picked out black kittens whenever we were able to get a cat um, I always go with the black cat so we're gonna start with the classic black cat uh, this is Zip. He's got green eyes. Just a nice, classic, floppy Beanie Baby cat. And if you don't know the 90s Beanie Baby cats, then you might not be ready for the rhyming we're about to have with all these names because we have Zip. And then we have Snip. Uh, Snip is like a Siamese cat. She's got blue eyes. Pretty color pattern on her. And then we have Flip, the white cat. Um, she also has the blue eyes. Another floppy cat. And then we have Nip, the tan floppy cat. She's got golden eyes to match her golden fur. And then we have the last of the Ips that I have in my collection, at least. Uh, this is Chip, and Chip is a calico cat. She's got all different color fur put together. Very interesting pattern there. Gotta love that. It looks like they, they took a little bit of each cat to make the Chip, it looks like, anyways. Uh, then we have the next matching name set. We have... Prance and Pounce, and the gray and striped one is Prance with the blue eyes. As you can see, her tag's a little damaged, but I don't mind because I have them for the love of Beanie Babies, not for the love of trying to make money off of a children's toy. Uh, next we have Pounce. Pounce is a brown cat, very pretty coloring, brown eyes with the brown fur. Um next cat we're going to show moving on from the classic floppies we've got some more I don't know more detailed cats more cat like cats I guess uh, this is scat and then we have silver silver looks a lot like the silver looks a lot like prance let's be honest it's like the updated version. They've both got the blue eyes. They've both got the gray stripes. Maybe they're like best friends. <laughs> um, next we have this pink cat, which um, her name is Carnation. I, I think she'll probably end up sitting with my Valentine's Beanie Babies when I put her on the shelf. But I just recently brought her into the room. And so she ended up being in the cat video today. So this is Carnation. She's... She's just beautiful, like a pink carnation flower that you give to a friend on Valentine's Day, I guess. Blue eyes, very nice little kitty cat. Next we have a realistic looking cat. This is, I mean, just look at those, see if I can get it up close at the eyes. She's got very realistic looking cat eyes. Like they put some effort into making this one looking real. Um, this is Beanie. It's a interesting name for a Beanie baby, huh? Beanie the cat. Uh, but yeah, super cute. Looks like a realistic kitten. Um, this is another one of those that I feel like just belongs in the Barbie dream house because it looks like a real pet. Just pretend like they have a giant cat. Um, next we have one of the 2000 eras. This is Purr. 
Uh, it does look like I need to take a Tide pin to this one because she's got some dirt on her foot. Um, I do buy most of my Beanie Babies used. Uh, every now and then I'll order the new ones off the website if there's some that I just can't live without. Look at those eyes. Those are fantastic. But yes, this is just another cute little kitten. Um, what do we have next? Let's do some Beanie Boos. I don't I definitely don't have as many cats as I do dogs. That much is obvious. Uh, this is Scrappy. Um, Scrappy looks pretty scrappy, doesn't she? She looks like she's been in a fight in an alley, definitely. Um, got that messy fur, but those pink glitter ears with the pink glitter eyes. You just, how do you not love that little cat? And then let's do another Beanie Boo. This is Annabelle. Annabelle is just adorable. She's got the, the shiny ears, but they're not the rough glitter. It's just that smooth, silky glitter. Um, she looks like a pink and tan calico, honestly, but definitely another cute little Beanie Boo. She's got a shiny nose. Like, I love Beanie Babies and Beanie Boos. I, I just, I'd love them all. Um, this is Amaya. What is it, Mikoko? You don't want mommy to make videos about cats? You want everything to be about dogs? Okay. Let's see, let's get back to Amaya. This is just a pink Beanie Boo. She's got the rough glitter ears. She's got a matching glitter collar. Like they went all out with the glitter on this one. She's got glitter paws, super shiny, wonderful little cat. Next, we have a Puffies. I don't have a lot of Puffies. Uh, They're one of the newer things brought to tie in the last couple years, but I mean, this one's just adorable. This is Cleo, the rainbow calico cat, I guess. Um, it's, it's funny because they try to make them into different animals. But they kind of all look pretty similar when they make them into these puffy balls, but this one, I believe, is supposed to be a cat, but let me tell you, it's giving me real mouse vibes because I do have a mouse version, and this little tail just makes me think mouse, but this is supposed to be a cat, so that's my one little puffy cat. And then we have this Beanie Balls, which is a tiger cat, and um, this one's name is Monaco, and I plan on doing all my wild cats in a separate video because I don't want videos to get too long because I know people don't always have time to sit around forever watching one video. So this is my one beanie ball. Let's just roll him out of here. And then we have a teeny tie with sequins. So this is a flippables, but it's also a teeny tie. Oh, her name is Lilac. I guess if you flip the sequins a certain way, I guess I can see, yeah, I guess that's why she's named Lilac. Like. You go one way, it's definitely lilac and lavender, and you go the other way, and it is disco fever. But it's definitely a cute one. She's got green ears and green shiny eyes. And this is probably one of my favorite cats that I have. This is one of the modern Attic Treasures. Uh, the original Attic Treasures were more teddy bear-like. They kind of remind you of like Boyd's Bears. They're usually poseable and stiff. This one seems more like a Beanie Baby, but it's called an Attic Treasure, so it's kind of confusing. Uh, this one's very silky and soft. Like, this is definitely one you just want to snuggle, but of course that would mess up the name tags. But this is Bessie. Bessie is just a beautiful, soft little Attic Treasure. Like I said, this they really seems more like a Beanie Baby, but now this is what they call Attic Treasures. And the last cat that I'm going to show you in this video is a Beanie Buddy. Let's just bring this camera up a little, make a little more space for her. And this is Pepper. And yeah, Pepper's just a large Beanie Buddy kitten. She's black and white. Reminds me of Sylvester. That's why I used to name all my black cats that I picked out as a child. Each one was named Sylvester. So yeah, that's all the Beanie Baby cats that I have. And in the next video, I'm going to show you all the wild Beanie Baby cats that I have. So expect a lot of lions and I want to say tigers and not bears. Oh my. Till next time, guys. Bye.